remains the eternal mystery. And yet we can observe it in all its myriad forms, wonder at its complexity, and some secret technique for survival. And this is the story of our true life adventure, the story of adaptation and self-preservation, the story of nature's secrets of life. In the world of plants, nature locks the precious germ of life inside some of her smallest parcels, her tiny seeds. Here may exist the makings of a giant tree or a delicate flower, of a useless weed or a fruitful plant. Yet whichever it may be, the spark of life is vital. And nature takes infinite pains to make sure her seeds are properly planted. She equips some with tiny parachutes. The seeds of these milkweed plants will ride the wind great distances to reach a fertile planting ground. shoots by the thousands, creating with its bursting pods a springtime snowstorm. Of course, nature can't depend entirely on the wind to plant her seeds, and to some, she grants the ability to sow themselves. The seed of the wild oak is one of these. During its early development, it grows in pairs, two grains to a hull, and each has a long tail called the awn. These appendages are extremely sensitive to temperature changes, and even while the seeds ripen on the stalk, they twist and turn. When the seeds fall to earth, they often stay together, and the arms become legs, since the wild oats are prepared to walk to their planting ground. Under the heat of midday, the arms bend and unbend, and like strange insects, the wild oats begin an erratic but remarkable journey. Upon reaching a favorable spot, the legs push the seeds under the soil. Thus, the wild oat is actually a self-planting plant. Another self-propagating species in nature's garden is a common weed. It's the fillery, sometimes called the heron's bill because it bears a resemblance to that long-billed bird. But this similarity is only temporary. As this seed ripens, it coils like a watch spring, winding and unwinding in response to changes in temperature and humidity. This clock-like action gives the plant another of its names, the clock. After it falls to earth, the seed continues its winding action, and soon it is literally drilling itself into the ground. At the planting season, the seeds of the witch hazel are shot out into space, sometimes to a distance of 30 feet. There's a reason for this explosive technique. It sends the seeds beyond the shade of the parent shrub. The secret ways of nature are often strange. Even the forest fire helps her with her planting. In the forest, there exist certain species of pines whose seed cones will open only at the touch of naked flame. The knob cone pine waits for this moment of emergency to release its seeds and in so doing helps replant the wilderness almost before the Holocaust has passed. And so the flames that bring destruction also bring new life. The seeds drop to earth, and out of its own ashes, nature's forest will rise again. Seed and soil, a magic combination, for it awakens the dormant life spots. Deep underground, living roots push downward, 
In their search for nourishment, they become an irresistible force. And so-called immovable objects are ruthlessly pushed aside. The modern camera can speed up the process of growing. And it reveals that plants are forever moving, changing, struggling, forever reaching upward toward the life-giving sun. Competition for a place in the sun is the basic problem of the plant world. And every green-growing thing, from a blade of grass to the tallest tree, must fight this age-old battle. 